Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm on a Honda Africa Twin, the CRF 1100L. So I'm having trouble trying to find where these bloody indicators are. I tell you what, you need a bloody degree to look to uh, work this switch gear. Is that the end? Yes, it is. Oh, no way. I was trying to press the toggle switch. With fifth gear, you can just twist the throttle and it just pulls no matter what. That is the satisfying neck wrench I have been lacking. So uh, the 2020 model is where they've made quite a few vast improvements. Um, the rear swing arm is stiffened. The rear subframe is a separate section now, so that can be taken away. It can be taken away. Why would you take it away, Nicholas? Um, if you were to drop it and you broke something on the rear subframe or whatever, you got hit up the back, uh, it's very unlikely that you'd write your uh, bike off because the frame is separate now, the main frame. So that's a good thing, positive direction. Um, as well, other little changes they've made on this 2020 model. Uh, the heat coming off the radiators uh, has been redirected so you don't get a lot of uh, heat coming up. Getting you all sweaty in the summer. What else have they changed on this 2020? I'm sure there's quite a few other things I cannot remember right now. So I'm going to pull over. I'm going to have a little walk around and have a little look at this motorcycle and look at all, all the uh, cavities and looking uh, actually look at the swing arm i love a good swing arm you know regular viewers know i always look at my swing arms i don't know why i've got an obsession with them i just think they're works of art and they should be stunning i always remember having a aprilia rs125 and that swing arm was just gorgeous like for its time and its day that was a gorgeous swing arm and that's just stuck with me swing arms should be gorgeous amongst other things obviously let's pull over in the usual spot well i say the usual spot I've been in like twice and we shall have a looky it's very stable the front brake is very sharp see i'm also getting used to this vehicle myself look at that screen though it's beautiful it's got so much adjustability on it it tells you everything you can connect your phone to it. It's just a really nice thing to look at. The 2020 model is a really nice bike to get by the look of it. I have been shown all this. Obviously, I was that excited to ride it. I didn't really take it in. Oh, that's good. It's got, um, you can put the fuel gauge up in the rev counter like that. The old, do you mind I'm videoing? The old, um, old school tachometer. That's pretty cool. I like seeing that go up. Sort of adds to the feel, didn't it? Where you can see, whoo, I visibly see it. Well, I've done enough waffling, I'm going to get off here and we'll have a chat in a minute. Fucking hell, I just booted the bloody... This thing. The rear rack. Right, so there it is in all its glory. What a beautiful machine this is indeed. I don't normally go for red bikes, but the colour scheme, the red, black and the white, it just really suits this bike. It really does, and I love the colour of that engine. I had a Fireblade with the same colour engine, and it had that black frame. And I just think that is a really nice colour match. So we've got the 21 inch front wheel on this. Got the monoblock calipers, which are radial mounted. Gives you plenty of stopping power. The frame is very, very clean. I know these normally get a lot of stone chips on, but this one looks pretty good. Got the engine bars on it, which is an extra. Adds to that rugged look, and it definitely suits the bike, and it's handy to have to put accessories on, like lights, bags, and you can rest your feet on them if you want. <laughs> Let's have a look at the dash. We'll start this... Uh, We'll turn the ignition on and we'll have a look at the sequence. Nice positive noise there from the fuel pump. Don't know if you can see that very well, but look at that. Nice silhouette of an Africa Twin. And then you get the reflection of my mug in the background. <laughs> Tells you the usual spill on there. Bloody, bloody, blah, blah. Keep your eyes on the road. And that's it, really. 
that is the start startup sequence. We have LEDs all around, including the headlight, is by the looks of it. Yeah, got DRLs as well. Look at the front of that, it just looks so mean and nasty. And it's quite cute looking at the same time. <laughs> Right, so this is what I was talking about, the swing arm. It's been strengthened, so we've got a sort of join here, a join there. It's been reinforced, and it is a nice, chunky swing arm. Oh, so we don't have the centre stand on this. I don't know if it comes as standard, as this is a used bike. I don't know if the previous owner has took the centre stand off or not. I'm not sure. But if I was to buy this, I would get a centre stand. So if anyone in the comments knows that they come with standard, let us know in the, below just to see if I am correct or not. Heat grips as well. It's a lovely addition. Look at that switch gear though. I'm going to need to read the manual thoroughly to understand all that. I don't think it's backlit. It might be backlit, but it doesn't look it. Everything screams premium, doesn't it, when you're looking at it. Like the bolts, the bars. Cruise control as well, I love cruise control. Right, let's have a look under the seat, back to helmet cam now. So we've got a key here, a key, a, a lock here, I imagine that is for the seat. Ow! Oh, it's a stinger! Oh, right on my crack! Ouch! <laughs> right, how do we do this? Yes! Right, so that's that. That's solid frame there. I'm guessing, yes, it slides back. Bit tricky. See the design there, sort of sliding in. A little fuse box there. Very nice. Not much storage there, but you know, you'd get you'd get panniers and stuff, wouldn't you? Anyway. So let's try and get this thing back in. This looks relatively simple. Yes. Not bad when you know how. The key. Beautiful looking key. Nice solid design. I like that. Right. Got the old tripod set up. Just to see what I look like on it. And see. Just see an action really for myself if anything. Feel free to have a laugh if you like. If I look out of proportion, because I've got short little legs. But there's one advantage to this. It's quite a tall bike, but the peg to seat distance isn't great. I mean, it isn't like a tall sort of uh, distance. So it suits my short legs perfectly. I can still sort of stand on the balls of my feet. Um, I'm five foot nine. I've got a 29 to 30 inch inner seam. Quite a long body, short legs. Not quite long, but it's out of proportion if you say that. Let's try and turn this beast around, see what she's like. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, it's so confidence inspiring. I can see why these bikes are so popular. I really can. I really can. The brakes are phenomenal. Oh, I feel at home already. Jody, can I get one, please? Please, can I buy one, Jody? Please. Comment in below if you think I should buy one, and I'll show Jody the comments. see that so I'm probably gonna move the camera so I'm on the tippy toes but it ain't intimidating you know right, let's 
turn that off. I've got enough ride by footage. Got these people over there in their cars thinking I'm a nutter. But who cares? I am a nutter. Right, so let's get on the bike and see what I look like. Yeah, it feels very natural. Nice and natural position. Very comfortable. The seat isn't too wide. I like it. Suspension's nice and plush. In a good way. I'll do ya. Alright, let's get back on the road and we'll chat some more. Do some dual dual carriageway testing, slow speed stuff. Maybe a bit of filterage, we'll see. So we'll catch you then. On the button. I love bikes that start instantly. That's how it should be. Right, let's test this acceleration. Yes, yeah, sir. It's a monster. It is a monster, and I wasn't even flat out. Slight bit of vibration in the bars, high frequency, not too bad. I have to see how that goes on, on a long run. But I was told the engine bars can cause vibrations. I have got adjustable rider modes, I've kept it in touring. Um, it's a nice pleasant uh, rider mode, it really is. It's a fantastic feeling, being so high up and opening that throttle. I've said this in the previous bike hunt when I was with my wife Jodie and we were talking about what satisfies you in motorcycles. And I think like that torque, that pull when you're opening the throttle outweighs any negatives. What have I got for negatives? The, the seat feels a bit firm. Not the worst. But that's why it's so slimline, it's really hard to get a good balance there. So it's something you could address later on. Um, I'm happy with the peg and seat distance. Uh, it can be a bit cramped, I've heard. But it feels like I'm sitting in an armchair, honestly. It's fantastic. The weight I thought would be a problem, but it's not. It's uh, very well balanced, very well balanced. The switch gear is very overwhelming. Immediately, uh, it's a bit like, oh, what a press, what a press. But I imagine as you get used to it, uh, you understand it more. Let's try the cruise control, actually. How does this work? Are we cruising for a bruising? Yes, we are. Let's go down, down the gears, down to 30. As we are on a 30. Right, let's press the cruise. Cruise on. Are we on? No, the button's not green. You've got to be a certain mile an hour. I don't know. Can we go up? I don't know. We'll have a look at that in a minute when there's not so much technical stuff going on in the road. Alright. Alright, so we're cruising at 30. Let's hit the cruise button. How do you put the bastard on? There we go. Oh, it's lights. That's the light. You can change the auto. That's cool. I don't know what buttons are bloody pressing. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get this bloody cruise control working. Are we on? I always expected that to see to say grit to be green. Okay volume there we'll come back to the cruise control I, I have no idea normally you just press a button and it stays at that speed and then you can toggle it with this here we go we're now set <laughs> yeah the green light comes on set but right, can we go up well watch where you go Nicholas can we go up yes we can cruise control is set here we go look at that that is a massive plus on any bike. I don't like that it's on the right side. 
I much prefer it on the left, but there's a lot going on, on the left, so I'll probably they, 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 blah, 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 can't get words out. They can't fit it there. <laughs> it's weird. It's called awkward trying to twist round and press these buttons. Right, so it's off. How do we actually set it? So we'll start from scratch, right along. We want to put cruise control on. Immediately we've got to let go of the throttle, which is annoying because I can't reach that button without doing so. That's on. Yes, and then you press it on, and then you press the the paddle there next to it. Uh, so that's fairly simple. Things are simple once you know how to do them. <laughs> it's having a positive attitude to getting it working. If you say, oh, this is crap, oh, it's on the wrong side. You just got to, you know, think outside the box and uh, figure out how it works first. It might not be as intuitive, but it will be once you get used to it. So that's the cruise control out of the way. Let's get to the twisty. When I say twisty, I mean twisty of the throttle. <laughs> oh, miles per smiles, mate. I like it. Actually, I don't like it. I love it. But yeah, mate. Front wheel wanted to lift then. <laughs> oh, sorry about that weird laugh. That says it all, didn't it? Got a little hazard in the road there. What is that? Oh, poor hedgehog. Uh, the screen buff in. And brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. My shoulders are getting a bit, but my helmet, nothing. <laughs> I really want this bike. I really, really want it. I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong... I'm going round. Right, so we're going round the roundabout. It's a great motorcycle Good to go round the roundabout. It really tips in well. I mean, it's not a unique selling point about a motorcycle, is it? Oh, it goes around the roundabout very pleasantly. Considering the America do not have roundabouts. From what I've heard. Alright, we are going up the jewelry. We're going to test it on the jewelry. Seat is... I've uh, been in this quite a while now, about an hour. The seat is a little firm. It's a little firm on my buttocks. I love this thing. I love it. I just feel like it's mine already. <laughs> I don't know if I am uh, foreshadowing the future there. But, you know. Nice fall, innit? Let's go up the jewel carrier's way. Hope this Mazda gets out of my way. I don't want to undertake you, I've got to get the away. Right, so we are cruising at 70. Six gear, 70, let's go to 70, six gear, and we'll see what vibrations we're getting. 70, 70. We are just below 4,000 revolutions at 70 mile an hour. And that is a harmony. A perfect harmony. <laughs> yes, you could sit on this all day. Well, not without improving that seat, but for comfort wise, wind buffet in and vibrations, definitely. Oh, this is great. So great. Why would anyone trade this in? Someone's obviously traded this in. It's done 6,000 miles. Why, honestly, maybe they got the new one. I'll have to ask. Maybe they got the 2024, which I'm very, very keen to try. So on that note, I'm gonna end the video. Um, please consider subscribing, do a lot of uh, reviews and maintenance tips, that is my speciality. I'm your, I should be your go-to maintenance guy on YouTube, you know. I try to get them uh, precise as I can, I try to improve on what others are lacking. So, uh, until then, I've been Nick, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Ride safe.